Hello. Here we are at the end of our journey together. This is just the beginning for you though. The beginning of a smoke-free life where you have all the tools to live well. We are thrilled that you have completed the Smotec Quit Smoking program. Congratulations. So tell me how was the last week for you? Did you enjoy the freedom from your habit loop of smoking on autopilot? If yes, then give yourself a pat on the back and continue the journey to build a wellness lifestyle. The first week after quitting is like learning to walk again. But you will get used to this new smoke-free life. Tell me, did you feel any cravings? Did you feel anxiety or stress? Or experience any strong triggers in this week? How did you handle the triggers and craving? Did you slip back and smoke one or two drags? Even if you have smoked, it's totally okay. Focus once again and start being aware of the conditioned nature of smoking. Practice loving kindness with yourself. It increases your ability to accept yourself and come back on track. Take charge and exert your freedom of choice to embrace the wellness lifestyle. What is the wellness lifestyle? Have you heard about it before? It is the culmination of all the things you have learned in the last 11 weeks. In the process of making you smoke free, we have also given you the tools and techniques to live a fulfilling life. Let's watch this video to find out more about the wellness lifestyle. We are at the end of our journey together to help you lead a smoke-free life. Now that you're going to take all these learnings and practice them by yourself, we want you to be in a continuous state of well-being. What is well-being? A state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Having positive relationships in our lives, some control over our economic and social circumstance and a sense of purpose all lead to a life of well-being. One's well-being usually depends on a number of interconnected aspects. 1. Physical health. This is a key parameter of well-being. And now that you've quit smoking, you're already on the path to physical well-being. 2. Mental and emotional well-being. Along with our body, our mind and emotions also need to be in a good space. Work on ways to get emotional well-being through the techniques of meditation we have practiced so far. 3. Personal Beliefs Your personal beliefs, it could be an ideology or a religious belief, make you feel connected to your world, your community and build wellness. 4. Social Relationships How you connect with other people in your life, the strength of your relationships with friends, family, co-workers, all lend a helping hand to your overall well-being. 5. Economic Health Being economically sound enough to take care of your essential, daily and emergency needs will bring a sense of comfort and peace that will build your well-being. Greg Anderson says that wellness is the complete integration of the body, mind and spirit. The realization that everything we do, think, feel and believe has an effect on our well-being. Here's a list of things you can do to increase your wellness. Connect. Try to live in the moment as you consciously talk and listen to others. Be active. 
do some activity every day that keeps your spirits up. Take notice. Look around you. There's so much to see and hear, feel and experience. Keep learning. Pick up that guitar. Learn a language. Go deep sea diving. Learn something new to keep the quality of your life high. And lastly, give. You could give your loved ones your time. You could volunteer at an NGO or just give a patient ear to your friend. Giving feels good and increases your well-being. So stay on the wellness path as you enter this new phase of a smoke-free life. As you are smoke-free now, you have already taken the first step towards your well-being, your physical health. This is a key component and will help you focus on creating wellness in other parts of your life. For example, now that you are smoke-free, you will be able to spend more time with your family and that too guilt-free. Also, being smoke-free means that your worries about finances and health consequences of smoking have reduced considerably. All this combined with a sense of purpose will lead to a life of wellness. Apart from the body, you now have those mindfulness exercises of brain, body scan, and moreover, the practices of gratitude, curiosity, and loving kindness, which will prepare you to deal with the impact of stress in your daily life. You will be able to manage your emotions with more awareness than you have ever before. See how different all aspects of life feel when you live with openness and awareness? You are now ready to fly away from this nest and live your life with the spirit of wellness. Now that you've quit smoking, you can gradually reduce your dosage from four tablets to one over a span of a month. If you want to continue using it, you can because it will detox your body and expedite the process of healing from the impact of years of smoking. And continue doing your mindfulness exercises like body scan and the RAIN technique each day to maintain your inner strength for a wellness lifestyle. Fill all of these in the progress card. We are always available and right here for you. Feel free to give us a call to fix an appointment with our counsellor anytime you feel overwhelmed or if you slip. Continue to be active on our Facebook community page to be in touch with your quit buddies. Not only will you support each other to continue on this path, but also motivate new smokers on their quitting journey. With that, I'll take your leave. It's been a pleasure to be your guide for the last 12 weeks. Take care, stay aware, and have a beautiful smoke-free life ahead.